Hey, welcome to a refinery in the Philippines. We've got work going on. This is house 48. As you can see, you've got problems with, with water. Part of this part, you get a slight wash over in high tide and then these pockets will hold the water. The road has been built up slightly so you, it doesn't settle on the road but it does wash over it. So we've got an extended portion there which is part open and then the enclosed part of the house will be over there. As you can see two rooms Filipino style is tiny tiny bedrooms enough for the bed. Outside will be a cooking area and, and dining kind of a family room. So, fortunately we've, uh, for the moment, we've seen the back of the rain. Um, as you can see, beautiful blue skies and it's hot. Not so good for the guys working. It must be pretty hot. That's Rado in a hat. Hey. So the top part will be as we usually do in in timber. That's where these are for. As close as you can get to two by fours. This is a tiny community, but it's it's kind of a, a collection of houses that are all huddled together, and they're very close the actual water. That's an inlet there that leads out onto the open onto the open sea. Over here it's all about fish ponds and fish ponds over there too. For breeding and selling fish obviously. And tiny little children <laughs> Some children a little like our, our lovely who kind of looks in the five or six five or six years old range but actually is nine. She just celebrated her ninth birthday. But they have a, a designation here for some children. If they're not growing at the rate that they should, then they are designated as being malnourished. I think that entitles them to some milk. Uh, not quite sure how they handle that. But that's a good case there of that little boy. You can see that he's, um, he's not, he's not uh, shy about or, or at any problem. <laughs> <laughs> getting around. <laughs> Hello. But he's very tiny and, and a child this small, this small in the West would actually be much more baby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's it on House 48. We'll, we'll be back. Hey, welcome to Farmer in the Philippines. And we're looking, actually looking at house 50. House number 50. We're putting together three houses into this small community that is, as I was saying on one of the other videos, kind of a collection of houses and homes and families uh, that are right on the edge of the water. Uh, steps are a makeshift kind of port there and they run they run people out to the islands from here to the other islands and as you can see that's apparently Beth told me that that we traveled on that boat there before it was abandoned here 
and now it's a wreck and has been dismantled. The bits that were useful have been taken and that will probably be left there to rot. So life still goes on here. All belonging to and next to what used to be house uh, 50. But the, uh, the family and the neighbours got together and they knocked it down and, and this is actually in the site of the old house. And they're in the process now of putting in the corner posts, the support main support posts. And you can see that Lovely with her hand on her hip is, uh, is making sure everything goes right. <laughs> in, this, in this little community, uh, uh, it just seems to be a ton of uh, little boys about Lovely's age. And uh, they were... They were quite uh, taken with Lovely and uh, there was lots of shouts of I love you before before we left yesterday. <laughs> really very funny. <laughs> Lovely seems to have that effect. She's a real bringer of smiles. There's a lady in a, in a Chinese coolie hat. Not something you see too much of. So that's where we are on that, We're, we have as a target to get all, all three houses, 48, 49 and 50, and we're hoping to have them all completed this month, March. Wish us luck, bye bye for now. Hey welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. Uh, well. That place there would not have been my choice, as many of our subscribers said, but that was what we were able to do. The barangay allowed for that. There was a, there was a dispute at first about who could build where, and, um, and apparently the families went to the barangay and they sorted it out, and so here we are. We have the four support posts all up, and so getting very close, we have all of the roofing for all three houses coming today. Uh, we've been to Taliban, just got back from Taliban and came straight on to the three, and they will be delivering that today. So that's what we're, we're waiting for right now. The wood is not delivered yet. Supposedly <coughs> last night, did uh, yesterday night. It was supposed night. to be last night. Yeah, that's why it's not been put up yet. Right. So they transfer over there. So they're gonna start the putting. Good idea. So that tomorrow, uh, tomorrow it's gonna be dried and they can put the post. Right. Because what they're doing here is they just cement it first. Then after when sure. it's dried, they put the. Right. Oh, they'll put the block the work in first. Yeah. On the perimeter. So. I told them to finish the four puttings there before they come home so that tomorrow it's dried up and that, ready for post. That would be great. Yeah. That would be great. You're a, you're a hard taskmaster. Yeah, yeah. And so far here, there's a yeah, lot of... Yeah. As you can see, if I sweep around, you got house 48, 49, and then coming right across the road, house 50. So, because they're so close together, which was why we pushed to see if we could possibly do that within budget to get all three built. So all the workers now, when they were delayed, on, as you heard, Beth said uh, that we were delayed because the arrival, well, the delivery 
of the, the timber work has not happened today. It was supposed to be last night, I believe. It hasn't happened today. These things occur with the deliveries and not often that's what delays us. But they were able to move straight across and put the footings in, dig, dig out for the four posts and Beth has managed to get them to agree to get those concreted in today and then tomorrow we'll be ready assuming that all of the timber arrives we'll be able to move on look at this little house here you know there's something uh, there's something very homey about this I, yes I know uh, you probably wouldn't want to live in a house like that but there is something well something that's attractive about it it's off the ground it's got the traditional it can't get much more traditional than this 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 is probably how they built houses I don't know a hundred years or more see even the upright even the main posts uprights they're just straight from the tree all the doors in a mac on open areas at the top so you get a free flow of air through the floors will be stripped bamboo look this is the this is the kitchen area and a working area for cooking and I'm, I'm sure that they spend a lot of time outside but that's behind that uh, sack there is the bedroom it's a tiny little house so really it's only the motorcycles that bring and a crash helmet <laughs> Motorcycles and a crash helmet, that's what brings this up into this century. And they've, in that tree next to it, they built a platform for hanging out, study. You've seen kids up there doing their, their homework up there. Lots of children here. And there's three, three piglets. A cat, a dog, everything. Wow, oh, look at that. It's a huge, a huge shell being used for water for the, for the dogs. So, quick look around. Watch out, a woman rider. <laughs> I'm pretending to bite my nails. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> That's in the striped top, that's the lady and I think her husband and they're discussing with Beth House, their house which is number 48. So I'll leave you here. Thanks for being with us. Bye for now.